Alright guys, Tin Man here. Have a look what I scored. This is a inverter welder. Um, that's the case that it sits in. Now it ceased to work, so my place of employment was going to throw it in the bin. Um, doing what they normally do and cut off the plug because it no longer works and cleaning up the shed today they were going to throw it in the bin so I said well I'll have that and check it out so I've given it a strip down put me big magnifiers on and started checking out all the components I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this or not but right there where my screwdriver is we have what looks like a very small transistor completely blown in half so I'm guessing that's actually the signal generator transistor because I cannot find another one other than the uh, GBT transistors which drive the high amp output so I'm hoping this is all that's wrong with it. Now the really good thing about this is it's a good start for a decent pulse generator for a hydrogen system. They are a DC pulse. As you would know your leads normally plug in there. And here's all the good things about it so far. We can go from 0 amps up to 140 amps now we have two settings here on the mo at the moment one is for arc welding and the other one is for TIG welding now following those lines back what this switch does is switch from one capacitor to two capacitors so when this switch is down there's two capacitors hooked up to the system which slows the pulse rate down and when you want a higher frequency for TIG welding you switch that up and it disconnects one of the capacitors and the frequency rises. Now I have another one of these at work um, and I just so happened to stick it on a cell I was making it work. With this turned right down there was lots and lots of bubbles for 400 milliamps um, and there's actually 24 volts coming out of these two here. That 24 volts remains no matter how high you have the amps. Um, so that seemed like a really good start so I'm hoping to also if I can get this running is to hook up a diode bank with multiple switches so I can adjust the frequency on it a bit more than we can now more than just the high and low setting um, also it has diodes across the capacitors which would be the rate of discharge on the capacitors so I'm hoping to be able to take the di uh, sorry resistors across the capacitors not diodes so I'm hoping to be able to take those resistors off and replace them with pots and also give me adjustment on the frequency the amps we can turn the amps up and down and the way this works even though this remains at 24 volts the output the amps are varying the mark space on the pulses so when it's right down the mark space on each pulse is very narrow and when it's right up the mark space is well I'm guessing it would be flat out as wide as each pulse so very very decent setup so I'm going to change see if I can find one of these transistors, I have a few of these old welders floating around, hopefully there's one the same or that will do the same job change that out, put it back together, stick a plug on it uh, hook it up to my RCD device and switch it on and see what happens so I'll um, have a go at that and we'll make another video if we get it up and running cheers from the Tin Man